What's up, you guys? How y'all doing? Okay, so we gonna do something totally different right now today. We finna do my hair. Y'all see how it's looking. I washed it like a week ago and then I hadn't been doing anything else with it because my scalp have really been uh, in being affected from all the alcohol and the different products I was using. Granted, I was only using one type of product at the time, um, and I had shared that, but that's like on my Instagram. I shared that like two months ago, I think, and I used it for two months. Luckily, I only got the trial size. Okay, so I'm gonna be sharing some stuff. I'm gonna be talking, and we're gonna be doing my hair, all right? Because this is honestly something that I have considered doing, sharing for a long time. Like initially when I started this YouTube channel, if you go all the way down to the bottom, I was sharing my pregnancy, um, starting that. And I watched that recently and I was like, oh my goodness. For one, my voice has changed significantly. And that's from pregnancy. Everything is different. Like my teeth look even look different. My teeth shifted after I had my son. Um, and I think a lot of that had to do with me not, like I stopped doing my chiropractic appointments. After he turned maybe one or two, my chiropractor, she had moved out of the city. So yeah, and I think I had even stopped a little bit before then, but we're about to get into my hair. We're going to do this right now. I'm just about to detangle it and I'm going to share what I'm going to use. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to spray it with, put some of this detangling nectar in there. And these are the products that I was using. Um, but you know, everything has quite a bit of alcohol in it. And this, these products don't have as much, but I just, I really can't be putting a lot of stuff on my scalp like that. Um, but I'll get into all that, sharing that. This is basically going to be a vlog. My husband told me the other day, because I was telling him I was considering um, changing the name of my stuff. And he's like, for what? You already, he's like, I don't, what, for what? You already doing different things. He's like, you already starting to vlog. And I was like, oh, yeah, see, that's why I be needing to run stuff by you, because... <laughs> You gonna tell me something that I ain't seen already. So, yeah, but um, when I first started this channel, I intended it for me to be documenting my pregnancy. I ended up stopping that because of how things started going. And um, I had also wanted to vlog my family life, you know, cause I was on this new path, living this, conscious life whatever you want to call it and um yeah that's what I wanted to do so I basically uh didn't because out of fear like I went into hiding basically um feeling like that I was just feeling judged I guess feeling like somebody had something to say about my choices when in reality even if they did it didn't matter you know I should have just done that but um it's interesting when I first initially began out on this path before I started before I really got into this before I was doing all this I was doing hair I went to beauty school and I ended up dropping out of beauty school when I had like two months left. And there's not, okay, it's days that go by, but it's so often do I be like, dang, I wish I would have just finished beauty school because um, I could be doing different things. Like while I was trying, I could be doing that while I was in the process of figuring things out right figuring out uh what it is that just my life my beliefs getting on alignment with myself you know um but 
I considered going back to beauty school and getting my cosmetology license, uh, but I decided not to. I decided mm, I just don't feel like spending money to go to school, but you know, I don't know, you know, things change, we'll see. So, I don't know, I got into all of this, I was so young, like, it's only like 23, for real, 22, 23, um, and life just started evolving, for real, like, without my knowing, or my true, not having any true pure awareness into what was taking place. All I knew is that what I was doing, how I was living was just not working for me anymore. Um, I had went natural and it, it was just a lot was changing. Like, cause I used to spend time like just going out all the time, you know, being with my friends and doing the stuff that comes with going out, getting fucked up for real. And that that ran its course honestly like that truly ran its course the way i was living the way i was thinking like the the friendships i had like my friends they weren't bad people but it just it wasn't healthy it was everything was just very toxic you know so um yeah i just had to switch things up and i wanted to share that life i wanted to share my life you know and in turn i ended up not out of uh not feeling safe to do so not you know all those things so and, and just i think in some aspect i was kind of feeling embarrassed um of who i was becoming because of who I was at one time. Like, it's so, it's just so different, for real. It's so different. It's so different. But in the process, um, you know, I spent a lot of time alone by myself, you know, and then I met my husband. We came, he came along and I was like, oh, he gets it. He gets me, I get him. You know, let's do this life together. And so that's what we've been doing. All right, we spent a lot of time on some fuck the system, you know, <laughs> and then having to come out of those beliefs and um, see things for what worked, what they were, you know, right? I still, it's a lot of stuff that I don't agree with is, you know, cause I see stuff for what it is. Um, so I just don't participate in a lot of stuff and I won't, I'm not going to act like I'm into it for anything, for anyone, you know? So I do what I do. I live how I live. So yeah, y'all, um, I just spent a lot of time getting to know myself on a level that I was not aware of. Granted, I can't say that um, because, well, I guess that I forgot about. When I was younger, my son, he always asked me different stuff. He'd be like, did you do so and so when you was younger? And I'd be like, no, like I wasn't into that kind of stuff when I was younger. Um, and it made me remember, like I used to be into playing Sudoku and <laughs> doing crossword puzzles and reading comic books. Like I used to really love Archie and Veronica and all the stuff that they had going on. And then, you know, um, and you know, just watching like spooky stuff, um, things like, like we had cable, but I would, I don't know if y'all remember that show, Fear fear or fiction no fact or fiction and you know watching unsolved mysteries and things like that um what else like watching goosebumps and <laughs> um x-files and you know uh what it tells from the crypt you know things like that 
always into like ghostly things and paranormal things and like because my favorite movie when I was a little girl was uh The Night Before Christmas like Ted Burton movies and stuff like that I was into that type of stuff let me stop this so it makes sense as an adult looking back as a child it makes sense granted I was really into like Barbies and stuff like that one year I need to find the picture I'm gonna try and insert it here <laughs> and see if I can find it but one year I think I was like seven or something my parents bought me this full as Barbie collection all right and I think I remember my dad saying we bought all, her, all that Barbie stuff she don't even play with it you know and it was more of I liked the idea of Barbie I liked the image that Barbie was not necessarily playing with Barbie <laughs> um kind of thing you know but I was more into uh the Adams family and things of that nature but I do remember finding myself as a young child not sharing that with people um not really talking about this stuff with people you know and you know just being a child knowing as a projector i guess knowing that i'm a projector i can see how i um did what i needed to do to just be within the realm of things right because i don't know if you into human design um you'll know that projectors we learn about a lot about ourselves based off of the conditioning of our environment Right, we recognize what is us and what is not in that way through those means, you know, and um, seeing what really resonates with us. So, with that, um, I was just who it is that I needed to be, you know, around everybody else. Like, just I'm just very, I'm highly adaptable, okay, highly adaptable. Um, and the older I got, I realized, I started seeing, like, like, you know, I didn't really understand it, but, like, this is not, I'm not really into that. I'm not really like these kinds of things, you know, or I don't really care about these kinds of things more than anything. Um, I'm just being okay with that, learning to be okay with that, and I guess that learning to be okay with that came with the whole awakening aspect, but the whole change and, and shift in, uh, in myself and my life, it happened. I've talked about this before, but whatever. Um, it happened when Uranus, I have three planets in, um, what is it? Three planets in, hmm. I have three planets in, uh, Aries. So, what year was that? 20, 2010, 2011, something like that. Um, Uranus went over, went through Aries for the next seven years. All right. Um, and my life just rapidly changed, drastically, radically changed myself, uh, who I was, what I was interested in, the things I was learning. It was just, I was coming into my autonomy, who it is that I am, because that's what, really what Uranus is. It's, um, it's an outside planet. It's otherworldly. It's a generational kind of planet, you know, um, recognizing my place or my, my peace for real and seeing who it is that I truly am within the realms of community, within the realms of others you know, and getting in alignment with that. And that took a lot, like, I just did a lot, you know. I really should have finished beauty school, so I could have just been doing hair, <laughs> okay, while I was going through all of that, but I didn't. And I'm not going to be bitter about it, about my young, immature choices, but it is what it is. So yeah basically um everything became everything what it is now you know and having i, I went through just like a really 
sad time. All right. It was a sad, sad decade for me. Um, if I needed, if, if midlife crisis, you know, or <laughs> adolescent crisis was a thing, that would have been that. And uh, really learning how to maneuver through that, like asking for help, seeking help from people who I thought would be able to, you know, help me, show me the way. But it's so funny because these people, they were really in the same place I was. I thought because they was older that they could show me, but they figuring it out the same way I was figuring it out. Granted, we all are, you know, um, and in that, but some of them, um, they were really literally in the same place that I was in. And I was thinking based off of how they were living that they had more to show me, more to offer me, you know, and in reality, that wasn't the case. It just ended up turning out to be something ridiculous. All right, traumatic damn near, for real. Um, and who knows, maybe the trauma came from how it is that I was choosing to perceive it. But in reality, um, it was what it was. Like, it, it was no denying what was being seen, what was being experienced, you know? So, yeah, you live and you learn. Excuse me. And eventually, I came to this place of like, oh, hey, acceptance. Here it is. You found me. <laughs> I found you. You know, so yes, all right, y'all. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to wash my hair um, and then. I'm going to do a scalp treatment because I need to keep up with the health of my scalp uh, often, all the time, because uh, I have dandruff, you know, it's not, granted, okay, so when I was younger, I used to have, when I got to a certain place in my life, my dandruff got really bad, and I knew it had a lot to do with based off of how I was living, all the drinking, all the different foods I was eating, all the other stuff I was doing. Um, you know, it, it, when things, our digestive system and our head is very linked. So when those two things, when the digestive system is being, I don't want to say polluted, but like just it, it, absorbing a lot of different things, energies, I'm looking at this, like I'm looking at my Sunday's book here, um, it, absorbing a lot of different things, uh, it can affect the scalp, the brain, the nervous system, you know. So with that, once I did switch over to a holistic lifestyle, my scalp was, it was great. Like it was, it was wonderful. Like I had no itching, no danger, no nothing. Um, and then after, when I got pregnant, things changed. But I'll talk about that after I wash my hair. I'll be back. Okay, I'm done washing my hair. I took a shower too, so I'm gonna show what I use. I just used what I had. So I washed with this, this Nourish Hair Cleanse. It's a uh, clarifying shampoo. And it has absolutely no alcohol in it whatsoever. And then I used this Myel's rice water shampoo to bring some hydration back to my hair. Um, I don't know if this has alcohol in it. It doesn't say that, no, no. And I did use this line for a long time. And the thing about products that don't have any alcohol in it is it, the way that it changes the hair or um, helps the hair be more moldable, the texture, be more like it helps it be able to pull through more especially for natural hair um that can be difficult right so these are good products 
uh, in reference, but it it kind of I don't know how to explain it into words. I just don't like it. Um, like sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Like it's it can be a little drying and everything like that of what it is that I want for my hair to look like. Like you know, um, I know I look. I'm not even gonna get into that. This is what I like and leaving it at that. And then I used this. It's a treatment mask here. And it is a, ooh, a rice water treatment mask. If you've never heard about the benefits of rice water, you should definitely YouTube it and look it up. Um, they talk all about it. There is a village of women I believe it's somewhere in Asia. I don't know if it's necessarily in China because I don't remember. Look, they might not even be, I mean, they Asian. All right, so um, that pattern line has that and it's really good. Like it's good for any type of split ends, any type of, because I know in the video you can hear when I was brushing it was ch -ch -ch -ch, but that's just natural hair, honestly. Um, and it gets rid of those, um, balls at the end, right? Needing a trim kind of thing. Not that it don't, not that it stop you from needing to get a trim. You still need to trim your hair, right? But it definitely, um, refines things, right? And it helps with length retention. It helps with growing even, um, cause it's so new nutrient to the hair shaft as well as to the scalp okay and i'm sharing this too this is a face and body cleanser herbalism i'm gonna try and switch i don't know yeah it's by lush i used to work at lush oh okay so we're gonna talk about that i'll be back okay so before we get into all of the whole lush story um, so after I got pregnant, when I got pregnant, uh, my diet completely changed. Like I couldn't eat things that I normally would because, you know, for those of you who have been pregnant or been around a pregnant woman, you know that, um, basically you know, the appetite changes drastically. Like I couldn't keep anything down. So my diet changed significantly. Granted, as time went on, I was really sick the first like month. And then as time went on, I basically, things got better. I could eat more of what it is that I wanted to eat. And um, I was, but after I had him, like, I don't know, life just got, I guess hard, like it just, it became very difficult for me because um, it was a lot of stuff. Uh, it, it, it's still people in my life that I still needed to get rid of that was still there. And that was a factor. Um, and outside of that being a factor, um, like life in general, it was just, I was making poor decisions and me and my husband together, we was not making the best decisions for ourselves, for our life out of, I don't necessarily say fear, but um, trying to force something that wasn't us, right? It was like all of a sudden um, I had this baby and I felt I went, I reverted back into this space of trying to live up to another's expectations, right? And with that, again, that all of that really, I was just really affected health wise um you know it affected me and then when we have children women when our wombs are activated it brings everything up everything comes up everything comes back right um so it is very also very ancestral with uh what is triggered what is coming up because when the womb is activated when the womb becomes when it, when it blooms, blossoms, whatever, it's a totally different game changer. Like, <laughs> it's different, you know, and 
they show, they share those videos or whatever of, um, or people will be saying like how much happier women who don't have children seem to be and, you know, but it, it's definitely something. Ancestors definitely be coming through. It is a realm, a portal of ancestral energy, whether that is just it opening or the ancestor coming through as a child. I just sprayed this on my face for a breath of fresh air, toner, and this mad hippie oil. And I try to use this later in the day, but I ran out of the other one. So I just won't be going outside at all the rest of the day because I can't be in the sun with that. But um, yeah, basically um, all that happened and my scalp just got really, it got really bad, but then it got better again, you know, because we went from, we were staying in one place, we ended up moving out, moving to these apartments with someone who was my friend at the time, which I shouldn't have. That was something that should not have happened. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into that. Um, something that should not have happened. Um, outside of that, not, we ended up getting evicted from the place that we were staying in because of just, just the whole energy. The energy was, was carrying itself out for real, you know? Um, I keep taking off these real quick. Okay, so have this olive oil here and I put peppermint oil, tea tree oil, and thyme oil. I put 10 drops of the other two and five of this one because thyme oil is really super, really strong. But um, I'm gonna just massage this into my scalp and then I'm gonna put it all over my hair after the fact. But basically, um, so we stayed with my parents. We went and stayed with my parents for a little while, for like a few months, maybe that happened in April. And that was what, April of 20, 2018. And then at the end of that year, we ended up moving back to those same apartments. Um, no, that was 2017 because we stayed in them apartments up until 2019. And at that time, uh, we ended up coming back and staying at my parents' house again because during that time, my husband, within that time frame, my husband had broke his leg and so our money was just what it was you know they had basically it, they was giving him a hard time with his disability and everything like that and um we ended up coming back and staying at my parents until we got back in a right space until it, the company he was working for uh started operating the way that they should the insurance company started doing what they needed to do as far as uh paying him and everything like that so we stayed here and then the whole 2020 situation happened so we were gonna move sooner but we ended up literally getting stuck here because uh we couldn't move at the time and then once uh everything started to kind of dissipate we ended up moving so it was just like six months into 2020 we ended up moving and um, from there we stayed at the place we lived at for two years and then we just moved from out of there and moving from there we had a difficult time uh, getting approved anywhere because of credit okay and it was more so my credit because I haven't had any kind of revolving credit in a long time oh and then when we were about to move uh some stuff that my husband had disputed from off of his uh account they put back on there this was like six months later like out of nowhere so it was like one thing i know or one thing i have learned in living this life that i've chose to live and come into and everything like that is that everything be happening for a reason 
you know, because that we had absolutely no control of that whole credit situation, right? And that was the thing that completely, like we had got approved for this place that we really wanted to move to. And then once they checked, ran our credit, that happened, it's like the same day that he, this, if he would have checked our credit when he was going through our financials, we would have been living there. But the same day that that happened, like a few, what was it? Was it, I think it all happened in the same day or the same time span within three days or something like that. So uh, we've been staying at my parents' house again. We about to move next month. We've been here for since last year of September. So it's almost been a year this time, but within that time span, I um, came into a lot of understandings that I needed to uh, work through a lot of darkness, a lot of shadows, you know, that I have been holding on to, uh, especially when it comes to concern about how people or how I thought people felt about me, you know, and um, just dealing with a lot of things that I had not necessarily buried, but I thought I had healed and in reality, I hadn't. So in reality, what I did was did what I do well, right? I, I suppressed it and been like, oh, I'm okay with that kind of thing instead of dealing with the root issue, okay? This is how, these are the things, this is the life, this is the perception, the awareness that I've come to that has that encouraged me to get into root work, right? Because, um, like, I live a very mystic life. Like, I am a mystic. That is what I do. Like, I, I love knowing what is hidden. I love this, knowing what's in the shadows. I love the shadow work, okay? Uh, if I had to live in the underworld, I would be okay with that, you know? Um, the darkness is my friend all right so i i find much of growth there like seeds don't don't sprout in the light all right they sprout in darkness so and they come to surface right but getting to that surface is usually the most difficult part right difficulty at the beginning uh hexagram three all right so <laughs> with that um basically it, it was necessary because you know i had gotten to this space feeling like i don't know just feeling like that like unloved for real that's really what it was feeling unloved feeling unseen feeling un everything okay and um yeah just having to be in a space of I had to be in this space to come up out of that, for real. <laughs> the other day, it's so funny. My husband, he was like, he was talking about us moving. Um, and so something came up and he was like, you know, you always telling me to do the work. He was like, but this is where the work is done. He's like, you got to face these triggers and yada, 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 and all this. And it's just like, oh, all right. Like, don't, don't pull a me on me. Like, you can't pull a me on me, but... <laughs> Um, basically, uh, it got me, encouraged me to get up out of that space. A lot of things started happening. Um, a lot of bodily things, having so much Capricorn energy in my sixth house, um, and that being squared my mercury when I don't deal with my thoughts or when I need to deal with my thoughts and I'm not paying attention to it, things manifest, uh, within me. And it came through like nerve energy like numbness and things like that um but it's gotten much better and working through the mental constructs of things is what helped that what what brought push to that you know so yeah okay so when i was working at lush uh this was the time when i was starting to come into all of everything for real you know, I was on the fence about things, but eventually I decided to go ahead and 
get into what it is that it was just, you know, time for me to get into. Um, I'm not exactly what, how old I was at Lush. I think I may have been 22. I believe I was 22. And um, yeah, it basically all just really uh, put me in a space of here, getting here. All right, it's a process, it's a path, it's a, <laughs> it's a doing and an undoing, okay? It is a, a learning and an unlearning. A knowing and a realizing you don't know nothing all right because everything is always it's like the Ouroboros the snake that eats its tail kind of thing you know you continue to evolve and eventually come up out of those cycles that have you always in a space of eating one's tail right and not seeing the truth of the matter because at the end of the day, what it what what it's what is the truth, your truth, right? What what it is that I've come into from all of this, what I've learned with all of this, what I have grown into, right? Beliefs and anything else otherwise, you know, so yeah, y'all, I'm still doing this hair. I'm going to, I'm gonna finish putting the rest of this olive oil in my hair. And um, and then I'm going to put a plastic cap on. I'm gonna sit with that on for like, I don't know, however long I feel like it. Up until I don't feel like it basically. So I'm ready to rinse my hair out. And then I might sit under the dryer I don't know, but I'm going to, um, I need to do my scalp in the center. I am going to plait up. I'm going to twist my hair. Um, let's see how that goes. Well, I know how it's going to go, but I'm just saying I need to go eat. So yeah, y'all, I'll be back shortly soon i don't know we'll see <laughs> so it's late y'all and i'm about to rinse my hair out because you know i cooked and everything but yeah it's so soft <laughs> i'm gonna twist it up tomorrow and we'll finish our conversation then but for now i'm just gonna rinse this out and you know it's not even that oily for real it really is not but i'm just gonna rinse it for any extra residue and dry it up and put some leave-in conditioner in it and tie my hair up and go to bed because it's like almost 10 it's time to sleep and i'm tired so yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow <laughs> good morning y'all <laughs> it's early so I'm gonna finish my hair and yeah, I'm gonna just be finishing my hair. So I didn't end up putting any, um, what is it? Leave-in conditioner. Cause the one that I have, I don't, I don't know. I don't wanna use it and I'm not using it. But um, I gotta go wash the last part of the video see what I was even talking about yesterday well I remember what I was talking about but one thing I woke up and did want to say is that um you know although what I thought about when I was going to bed was that although the friendships connections and relationships it was that I was in at the time were were toxic toxic it was for me right and even still I contributed to that toxicity you know it wasn't just those people like <laughs> mirrors we're all mirrors reflections of one another right so as much as you want to say something about someone that's around you um, there is some part of you that is too in that way in that frame form fashion 
you know so yeah <clears throat> it is important to see ourselves as we are so that we not going off pointing fingers blaming accusing feeling oppressed even making ourselves out to be some type of victim you know hey babe Recording? Yeah, but it's fine. Well, it's not on my TV's when it's convenient. <laughs> okay, y'all, so <laughs> I ended up doing all of this. Had to, was waiting till my husband walked out the bathroom. But, um, yeah, I think I said what I said. Not, nothing else needs to be said in reference to that but you know all this time spent in seeing the spaces because that's really what's been taking place me seeing you know where this has been mirroring you know what has that been for me kind of thing and um growing from that growing up i guess we can say growing out and all of those things and really get in touch with parts of myself that really feel like myself you know so yeah let me see something hold on okay i had to go back and take a look to see exactly what it was i was talking about yesterday and i guess it's not meant for me to go back and <clears throat> talk about what I was talking about yesterday, you know, because in a sense, like, what's done is done. Like, I feel like I expressed what needed to be expressed and shared what I wanted to share within that, but um, in really being in that space of seeing what's hidden and uh the shadows and everything like that it's just eventually like you can't you can live there if you want to but i don't want to live there you know because i just don't like you don't uh like it's a place to go when i need it right it's a place to support others where they need it when they need it kind of thing you know shoot so basically I'm at this space where I just want to live you know I just want to focus on living and within that like I'm gonna still be offering my classes and stuff uh like after I do this video I'll probably do um a tarot card divination check-in <clears throat> and all of that and yeah, I, right now I'm just really in this place where I don't really know how it is that I'm going to be going about showing up outside of the way that I have been, you know? Um, but like I said, uh, doing these kinds of things, sharing these, sharing in this way is something that I wanted to in the beginning, you know? And in that, um, and I just really don't know what's to come from that, you know, because it's new. It's it's a new start for real. A new path of going about doing the same thing I've always been doing, right? But if I would have, what I know is if I would have done, made videos, did vlogging at the time that I wanted to, I really wouldn't have been able to be in a space to not necessarily keep it up, but um, I just don't see it have working out in the best way. It just wasn't the time. Goodness, almost out of this stuff. I haven't used this in a long time. It's almost empty. Um, using this Miel, Miel, Curl Smoothie, Pomegranate, and Honey. Um, I had stopped using it while I was using those pattern products, which are honestly, they're really good products. I really love that pattern. It's just 
I'm just using too much of the things. Like need like maybe just one thing out of all of it and just leaving it on my hair type of vibe versus anything else because anything else is just too much so i feel like i'm just dragging y'all like it's early i'm plaiting up my hair i'm gonna finish plaiting up my hair before Bashar gets up and then i'm gonna get into my morning and everything and get that going i will come back and share with y'all when it's all done when it's complete and if there's something else that comes up i definitely will come back on here to talk about it but as of now i'm just gonna leave it because i don't wanna <laughs> like don't nobody want to listen to somebody drone on over and over so yeah y'all i'll be back Okay, I was watching this video. I'm almost done now, but um, I know it looks like a lot. It's really not, but I was watching this video and it reminded me how yesterday or earlier in the video, I was talking about how, you know, I should have finished cosmetology school because as I was going through all these things, I could have just been, you know, doing hair. And one thing I had remembered that had came up yesterday after I had said that was like, actually, no, I could not have been doing hair because like, for one, I don't, I don't let a lot of people in my head. Um, there are, what, three people that I will actually let do my hair. Um, one of them actually isn't in my life anymore. The other one moved to California and the other one, the way her schedule is, <laughs> Um, sometimes it just don't, it, it, it hasn't worked out for a while. So, which is fine. You know, I'm capable and able, I can do my own hair. But I say that to say that, um, I would not have wanted anyone going through what it was that I was going through emotionally, internally, um, to be in my head. Granted, you know, um, People can do hair really good, you know, but where they are, who they are is um, important. But at the same time, even, I feel like that, so it's like a double, not a double-edged sword, but two sides of a coin, right? So it's like, for one, I wouldn't want anybody, we all go through stuff, honestly, right? We never not going through stuff, but I was just like in a really dark place. Um in a really dark place. And that's definitely not the type of energy that I would wanna be passing on to anyone being in their head, right? Because the head is our, that's our crown, that's our, our ori, I believe it's called. That's what they call it in um, like the ephah tradition. And the ori is considered, I believe, our oversoul, don't quote me. Um, there is a woman named Andunola. I will, well, I'll put up a link to one of her videos in, in my description box of the video because, um, you know, she talks a lot about that. She is a Ifa priestess, uh. I believe it's a, or maybe she's in the EA. I don't know. I don't know how they, how they name it, how they quote it, label it, any of those things. Cause I'm not an initiate of any type of um, ATR. So with that, it was just really important for me to, you know, be doing my own Thing at that time all right um, but now as I'm getting getting older growing and everything what I am seeing is you know I like my hair a certain way and it's not because I have been it has nothing to do with any type of conditioning like yes I do like my hair natural too I like my natural styles it's very beautiful it wears me well right but 
at the same time, like, I like to be able to easily put my hair in up in a ponytail, put it in, you know, just up off my face. And not that it's not simple to do that with my natural hair, but it doesn't give me that sleek look like I would like. All right, and again, it's solely based off of how it looks on me. You know, I don't always, I don't always want to have to be, you know, after you take your hair loose, you got to plait it up so that it can stay. I mean, you can sleep and just put some on your head, but then the style and everything like that, it just, it doesn't last as long. Whereas, say for instance, if I get my hair straightened, I can wear my hair straightened like that for at least two weeks. Um, you know, granted, with me having natural hair, I can do the same. But <laughs> it's just some days I just be like, ugh. Like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, and my hair has been, na I've been natural for, what, maybe 13 years now. Is it been 13 years? Maybe, maybe 11 or 12. Either way, it's been a while. And it's just a new cycle is emerging and I'm here to let it grant. I'm not getting no relaxer or anything like that. That is not anything that I intend on doing. Um, I know that I can have my hair have a straight look without doing any of that. But what I do need to invest in is a better blow dryer. So that'll be on my first hair to do list is getting that so yes i have this much left you all see that these flies just keep falling i have about that much left so that's not too much i'm gonna finish this and um yeah just be done but i do want to say you know um it's really good to get to know the people who do your hair, right? If you can, have a personal relationship with them because knowing who they are and how they are um, will benefit you greatly at the end of the day of what type of person is they are, All right. So, yeah, going forward, you know, um, with that, that brings up I was thinking like, okay, what am I gonna be doing? What am I gonna be sharing in this change? And it's like, actually, you know, nothing's changing. I'm gonna keep doing the same exact things, I'm just adding in new things as I have been with my personal life, integrating new things. And what y'all hear is me. This, I'm putting this in my hair. Um, but it's, it's almost out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be sharing the same things that I have been sharing, just adding in some personal life stuff, right? Because for a long time, I have been wearing mini masks. And lately, recently, what I learned is sometimes masks, they allow, right? Mask is a way of allowing a person to be themselves, right? A, play, a, part, a, a place where... A, an expression of themselves that they may have hidden. All right, so that is something that everything all these years that has allowed me to do, you know, me being very into learning information, me being into the mysticism, me being into um, just the more hidden aspects of reality, right? The things that we don't talk about that I'm into that I necessarily wasn't because Y'all, like, <laughs> what I know is uh, I didn't have to worry about those types of things because I would just be pretty, you know, and leave it at that. Like, I could just be a cute girl and live my life and not have to worry about being smart. Although I was, um, you know, and it wasn't out of feeling some kind of way it's just as I got older um I did 
I don't necessarily want to say was teased, but you know, kind of, yeah, was teased as far as being smart, taking a higher route, right? Um, choosing a different, and this was, this came through uh, different connections I had and friendships that I had or people, or it came to the point of somebody be like, well, just ask Chanel. And it's just like, I ain't got all the answers. Okay, so yay. I'm finished y'all, all right? I'm about to go and get the rest of my day started. Go spend, you know, do my day. Bashar is up. Um, yeah, I'm about to go have breakfast and all those things. And yes, I will talk to y'all really soon. And bring a close out to this whole conversation, okay? Because I have a few more things to say, but I'm wait. All right. What's up, y'all? So, we about to take this hair down, finally. It's been about, what, so, oh, that was just yesterday that I did that. So, I'm also about to get ready because I'm going to record a video for the North Node switching signs um, of Aries to, from Taurus and Virgo to Aries and Libra. Okay, so, <clears throat> Cause that's about destiny shifts, right? So the North Node is gonna be going over all that Aries energy that I was talking about in this video at the beginning. Okay, so um, I need to get some more of this. I need to get some more of many things. So I think that's what I'm going to be spending my time doing <laughs> this weekend. Give me some more serum, some more toner, um, yeah, and all of that. And, um, yeah, just getting some things that I need. What else do I need? Toner, serum. Oh, and I need some hair products because I don't know how this hair is about to cut, turn out after using what I used. You know, so we gonna see though. We gonna see. So, uh, Bashar is looking for me. This is what I'm using. Triple C night cream by Mad Hippie. I really love that. But, um, yeah. So as far as everything. What's up, baby? this. Yes. Concert court. Okay. Okay, Bashar didn't want his um conversation recorded. <laughs> but um yeah, I was just talking about the things I need to get. But outside of that, yeah, with everything I went back and listened to the videos and um you know, just seeing where what I was sharing, cause you know when you talk and you just be talking, like when you're being vulnerable, being open, it's just coming up and you're sharing. So, yeah. With all of that, with all of that I experienced, I'm grateful, you know. Granted, if this was, I feel like, with what I do and with, you know, when it comes to like this spiritual work, I feel like sometimes people really be wanting to do that kind of thing. But what you decide to do in life is really tied to, it's a very karmic kind of energy, you know? Um, Dang, I wanted to use that. It's fine. Maybe next time. Um, with this life, what I have understood and come to accepting is that in order to be here, in order to just be in this space, uh, 
a lot is required of you. You know, a lot is, um, and sometimes that looks like a lot of pain, right? It, you don't necessarily within the constructs of our reality, you don't necessarily get to a space of sovereignty and freedom without um, having to sacrifice certain things along the way. And with those sacrifices and not sacrificing like by whatever means you may be assuming a sacrifice to be, to look like, right? but more so of a, a letting go, right? A surrendering to what is, to what is yours, you know? Um, and a walking away from, a leaving behind anything that is not truly authentic to who it is that you are, right? Things that are burdensome, that carry you down, that keep you caught up in illusions and falsehoods and everything like that. And granted, like, you know, Sometimes I'll be like, dang, I wish I was regular. Like, I don't have nothing against anybody who don't live this kind of life, you know? Because in some by some means, I'm not saying that they have it easier or anything like that. It's just probably not as tumultuous on a emotional, psychological, mental level. I'm not saying that they're not going through stuff either. But it's just, it's a lot. Like... <laughs> is a lot you know and it's not i don't know even though as being in aries um people be like oh aries they competitive and all kind of stuff like that but i i don't know i don't be competing with people like i don't be wanting what other people got you know and like i'm very sure on what it is that i desire out of my life and what it is that I have to go about doing in order to achieve that, you know? So it's just kind of like, I'm, I'm gonna just do what it is that I need to do uh, for me, you know? And granted there are, I do find others inspiring, you know? I feel like I have a lot of muses in my life and their ability to is inspiring to me like i don't especially when it comes to the people that i've learned from the teachers that i've had um granted not all of them you know but a lot of them you know they have inspired a lot of my choice to continue to choose myself for real right always to continue to choose myself and that's really what inspires the people who are authentically themselves, <clears throat> right? Um, despite whatever it is that is that others may not necessarily deem whatever, you know? So, <clears throat> yeah, y'all. It's, it's been a journey. It's been a road. It's been the path, you know? my path and my it's been a choice as well but granted at the same time it I always say it don't feel like it was a choice honestly like I, it didn't feel like it was a choice um because if I would not have chosen you know if I wouldn't have turned on in this direction, I should say. I can't exactly say what my life would have been like. I feel like, I do feel like I would have been miserable for real, like trying to continue to live in a way that just necess wasn't necessarily me, that was not authentic to who it is that I am, you know? Um, and accepting that, embracing that, and being okay with that, despite whatever it is that I had to experience in the process of it, you know, and uh, it was, <laughs> I guess, uh, I had a lot of happiness, you know, I have much happiness now, you know, it's easier 
to feel good today than it was in unpacking all of those things, unpacking all of that karma, um, going through all those bouts and spells of forgiveness and realize, right, uh, seeing truly what it is that needed to be forgiven within uh, the past and the ways that I needed, the places that I needed to forgive myself even. You know, and really it, accepting that, coming to terms with that, um, accepting that there there is no time machine, that there is no going back, you know. So it's just kind of like it is what it is, you know. And the isness is a a great thing, and it 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 turned out well, right? It it was time well spent. Um, time will learn, time will grown, right? Despite what, however long it took, it, it, it is what it is, you know, but I came out of a lot of things. Like I came out of this a full blown addictive personality that I had, right? Or doing something like what it did. It also took me down a path of boundaries, you know, and um, putting my boundaries up. And learning how to be okay with saying no, which is, it's like a, that's kind of like a forever lesson for me in a sense. And I think that has a lot to do with um, my North Node being in Pisces and then it being in my eighth house within my intimate relationships. You know, Pisces has a lot to do with the sacrifice, the martyr, you know, and um, really recognizing what is yours. What is your responsibility and what is not? Because a Pisces, they don't, a Pisces don't do it because they love you, <laughs> right? They, that's enough for them, right? They are admirable in that, but even sometimes, you know, exhausting yourself is not love. If you not really taking care of yourself the way you need to, and that was one thing I had to learn, like really, taking care of myself like on all fronts on all levels you know and making sure that I'm doing what I need to do in in my body you know so I spent a lot of time learning to take care of myself emotionally and spiritually and now I'm coming back to the physical aspects of things um because I tend to with my Chiron being in cancer I tend to do things in extremes and it takes me a minute to find that middle ground, right? So if you watch my previous videos, I talked about how, okay, I'm doing this right now because this is what I'm integrating. That's what I mean by that. Like, I need time to see how this fits, how this works, how this is going to go, you know, and in that, um, I bring it all together to express it in its wholeness, in its whole being from a holistic perspective, right? But um, even in that, what I learned is, you know, what has me doing things like that, I should say, is me learning the value in baby steps and doing things in small doses so that it can make a lasting change versus doing a thing in an extreme way and eventually getting burnt out in it so that has been my growth you know of myself within that within that realm of things and really just honoring my soul right because my 12th house is in cancer so that is very soul based energies you know um a lot of me my soul's expression my fullness all right so yeah y'all i learned to be okay with all parts of me <laughs> all right and express myself in a way that um does not taint it with another way of thinking that I have to do something in order to um be be I don't know be seen well like I'm just very comfortable with myself right 
with me with no question you know and that took a long time for me to embrace for real like i don't feel like i need to hide like i don't feel like i need to uh censor myself either you know so it's been it's been a ride for real and the ride gonna keep on riding all right but just in a different way for sure um and just connecting more and more and more because it's, it's never ending you know you're always learning new things about yourself you get exposed to new things and you're like hmm, do i like this or maybe i don't all right that's the whole idea of experiencing things to see if it's really for you you know and in that i experienced a lot and i i, I kept what was for me and i left the rest because when i say i didn't experience some <laughs> people are strange man for real um not saying that we don't all have some strangeness to us but some people just really be out here for their own gain like they don't really be for others and but what i learned was that i was coming into that energy because um in some way i was that was me right it the uh, showing up a certain way for myself in in order to feel safe again it was like about the safety aspect of things so yeah it was something else i wanted to share also we do have the moon magic class coming up tomorrow um, if that's something that you guys want to join, definitely sign up. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for this North Node, South Node reading, okay? Um, I've been having a lot of stuff come through, so I'm interested to see what the divine is going to be sharing with us, you know? through what's coming up for this uh north node shift that's a that is taking place that has taken place i think they already shifted i don't know i haven't been keeping up my with my astrology how i normally do you know but um my best friend's an astrologer so <laughs> i just ask her or she posts the video and i see and i'll be like oh look at that okay and see this is what i was talking about with those certain products because i mean the curl pattern is cool it looks nice but it's it, it kind of dry looking it i'll be liking my hair to look juicy <laughs> all right and to really be i don't want to say look moist like but um shiny i guess is the word for it to look shiny <laughs> let's see so in this mirror here in front of me the style looks nice but when i look at it on the camera it, I don't like the way that what it's doing in the camera. It's odd. Reflections, man, reflections. And I have a pick, but I don't normally pick my hair like that. Ooh. And it's so funny because I spent all that time in my life, you know, like like i said like i'm focused on getting money and focus i'm gonna just be a bad bitch and all that stuff but in reality what i learned was like it was all of this going through all of this unpacking all of these things coming more deeply into myself you know coming more becoming more of me you know that really put me in that space of not just 
being on the surface. Hold on. Okay, so I was looking for my other hoop, but I can't seem to find it. I don't know where it disappeared to. Might be time for me to just retire those. Hmm. Maybe I'll wear these if I can find the other one. I'm gonna have to see. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, focus on um, having my looks, right? Speak for me or whatever. But what I learned truly was that it was me, you know, coming into all of this, coming into uh, myself for real, fully accepting myself what is what made that, you know, it really didn't... Um, the looks aspect is a surface level, but like how far does that go? You know, <laughs> Queen Herbie, she had this song called Thank Goddess. And she like, in it, I think I'm gonna put my hair up. I'm gonna just put my hair up, y'all. Um, she started the song and she like, thank Goddess, I'm a bad bitch. Spend a, spend a hundred lifetimes as a sad bitch. And it's just like, yeah, like, Thank God, thank God it's because it's been a sad road. And one thing that I have learned um, in, through all of this, you know, connecting with those past life energies, past life needs and everything like that, it, I spent a hundred lifetimes as a sad bitch, like God damn you know, and really found what I needed in order to be different, be better, be more of me and um, living a, a happier life, a more feel good life because I'm really over the sad sad girl energy like I mean I get going through it like I totally respect it I respect people where they at but I can't I can't do that too long because it 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 takes I did it for a long time and and I guess that's why I'm so good at supporting others and working through theirs you know because I get it I know what it means to to feel that way I know what it means to not be able to see the other side of a thing, you know, and trying to um, figure out how we, how you gonna be, you know? So, yes, y'all, we're just gonna wear this up like this, okay? Cause I'm not about to be feeling some kind of way about this hair. I do need to put some mascara on. I might not even put on no lipstick. I mean, no ear, what is it, earrings? Cause I really just want to wear my hoops, but I don't know where the other one at. And I wish I could just find the other one to these. My husband had bought me these for Mother's Day one year. And I have the other one. But the earring piece that holds in your ear, it broke. Maybe I can take one off from a different one and put it on there. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. If you watch that video, this video, this divination video I'm about to post, you'll see what I end up. <laughs> doing with these earrings y'all so yeah we're just gonna wear it up high and leave it like that all right so yes you guys thank y'all for joining me thank you for listening all right for being present with me i appreciate it so much um i hope that you find some value found some value in this that it's just not you listening to me ramble okay who knows? Maybe that's the thing for you even. 
just to be listening to rambling. Oh, well, maybe I'll wear these. I haven't worn these in a long time. In a really long time, like two, three years. I'm shocked I still have them. I must have really liked them. <laughs> yeah, we'll wear these. These are festive. We ain't celebrating nothing. Well, who knows? Every day is a celebration even. How about that? Every day is a celebration. It's something to celebrate each and every day. Truly. Like, how do affirmations working for y'all? Do you have any? Not it's a great time to implement some in your life, right? Changing that subconscious thought pattern. Get in tune with that feeling mind. The only thing about affirmations is once you start saying them, um, the way that they manifest can be a little, uh, <laughs> it's going to bring up everything that, uh, keep you in that subconscious space, right? Of seeing things in the way that you see them. But the more inner work that you do, the easier that the informations come, right? That they, um manifest themselves into your reality you know so that is definitely something to consider if getting into affirmations is something that you are wanting to really um start involving your world in okay because they can definitely propel you from one place to another but it's going to show you where it is that the work is gonna have to happen right because it may cause a lot of chaos at first. Like you're trying to shift your mindset to like this very positive way of life. But then all of a sudden, and this girl on TikTok one day, she made a video. She's like, so I tried these affirmations. Let me start a new one. She's like, so I tried these affirmations and she's just talking about all the stuff that started coming up, but it's because where she was internally is that's just where she was so that's what was going to be coming to her right you're triggering the mind to try and receive something different but what is blocking you all right if you saying oh i receive this that and the other what are you really going to receive the the antenna right that you the broadcast that you're giving out already where you are is what you're going to be receiving so but let's say, for instance, you've already been doing a lot of work, but things still seem to be going about in the way that they're going. It's because there's something living in that feeling mind, that subconscious mind that's really trying to uh, get out, right? So with that, that's where you start doing the affirmations and the energy that exists within you that you've been cultivating will start drawing those things in for you, right? That it'll be easier to cleanse that feeling mind in that way versus trying to do that on some random day at some random hour and you ain't been doing shit, all right? You ain't done, you ain't, ain't been doing any clearing. You have not been changing the way you talk. You haven't been changing the way you live. You haven't been changing your habits, all right? You haven't been, you just consume yourself and the same things over and over. You still got the same people around you who only encourage and influence the things that continue to happen to you. And granted, if they may be a good time, but they may not necessarily be there for, or need to be there for a long time. It's different. It's different, okay? So I think that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me in this vlog. I'm gonna start making more videos like this. Um, I'm going to keep recording on my walks, talking, and I'm also going to start sharing my life, you know, because it, like, you know, I've come out of that space of feeling embarrassed about anything, feeling questionable about my own self and what my choices are and what I'm doing. I don't really know if I need to, whatever, we're just going to keep looking straight here. However it comes out, that's how it comes out, okay? So, um... Yeah, y'all join me on this North Node video. Um, 
if you don't know where your north and south node is you can go to i will have all that linked in the video we're not gonna make this or a divination video all right y'all so yes thank you for joining me thank you for being here um i'll see y'all very soon and Thank you.